Hey guys, so it's April and today I am going to be showing you what's in my makeup bag, okay? So, some people have asked for this, so I'm going to show you. Um, most of the things in my makeup bag are from Christmas, were bought for me for as a present for Christmas, other things that I've, other things I've bought myself and things like that. So anyway, and some things are just quite old. <laughs> anyway, this box slash bag thing is what I take everywhere with me okay on sleepovers on trips away and it just has everything I need in it makeup wise and beauty wise it has everything okay I do have some of the makeup but I don't really use it okay so everything that I do use stays in this bag and I use it um, here as well so anyway let me get into it I'm sorry I'm a bit everywhere I've got a cold and also I'm having a bit of a bad day with my hair so anyway this is the bag, it's quite pretty, it's from number 7, as you can tell, yep, got a nice little handle there, right, so anyway, got a nice little mirror, so first when you go into it, you will come to um, my day cream and night cream, I have these because of course I use them every day. Every morning I put on my day cream, every night I put my, on my night cream. They're basically just moisturiser, but one's for day, one's for night. I think the only actual um, difference is that the day cream has SPF in it. I don't quite know. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me in the comments below. But as far as I'm aware, that's really the only main difference between the two, but I love them. They're like the essential part of my routine. I also have two hair bubbles in here, so if I, it, I don't, I don't keep my hair stuff in here, um, because I don't know where that's gone. I've lost a hair bubble. I don't normally um, keep my hair stuff in here because of course I have a drawer for everything to do with my hair, but it's in case I go away and I pack the bag. But I forget anything for my hair, like I forget hair bubbles. So I've got two hair bubbles in here, so I'm not entirely at a loss if I forget something. I've also got some um, hand wash, hand gel, um, because you know we all have a moment when we just need to clean our hands. This is a chocolate smelling one from Primark. It doesn't smell of chocolate, it smells disgusting. But oh well, I'm keeping it anyway, for hygiene's sake, and then once that's used up I can buy some decent, a decent one, but that's another thing that's in there. I've got this eyelash curler, because it's always important. I have this thing, this powder, it's like just setting powder. So I tend to brush that onto my face after I've done all my makeup and it'll stay on longer. I've got some hand and nail cream. Um, this is from Marks and Spencers. I think someone bought me this, but I can't remember who. But um, I just thought it's lovely. It'd be lovely to keep it in this bag because it's just nice having some hand cream in it. Yeah, I quite like it. It's good stuff that it's actually quite nice quality. Although it doesn't really smell of anything, which I don't like. I like being able to smell things. <laughs> Once again, I'm really sorry I've got a cold. I have this big brush. And also there's this to go with it. This is just like a little palette thing to um, put on my cheeks. It's got like blusher, it's got bronzer, it's got highlighter all in it. So I just kind of brush that on. I've got my brushes here, some of them are quite dirty because I've been using them, like a foundation brush I use every single day, so this is quite dirty. I've also got this one I use to brush on the powder, don't know if that's what it's for, but you know, that's what I do use it for. I'm not much of a makeup person, so be prepared for me to say things wrongly. Um, apparently these are for eyeshadow, but I don't really do eyeshadow that much well I'm not very good at it anyway so I don't really use these very often I sometimes use them but not very often so they're always quite clean 
Um, I keep them in there anyway though, in case one day I decide to be creative. <laughs> I've got two face wipes here. Well, yeah, facial cleaning wipes. The reason for that is because I like keeping wipes on me at all times. So if I'm at someone's house I, and I need to wash my the, and I need to wipe my makeup off, or you know anything. You know, wipes come in handy all the time, don't they? So, I have them. Next, I have a makeup palette. Wait, makeup palette. I have a eyeshadow palette. Um, I don't know why I keep keeping that on my lap because that is just really annoying me. Um, inside the palette. Isn't it pretty though? It's very, very pretty. It's a um, nice gold colour. So opening it up, oh, that fell out. I have all them little eyeshadows. It's quite dirty because I use it almost every day. So I do do eyeshadow, I just don't do it properly. I don't do it really professionally. I just throw it on. So and I just tend to use a little brush that came with it. <laughs> so as you can see, and it's got a nice little mirror. It's got lots of nice little different colours. I tend to use that one during the day because it's just really nice and light and natural. I don't know how eyeshadows can look natural, but they can, so, yeah. And next we have this little bag that I put inside the bag, and the bag's just falling on the floor. <laughs> this is quite an old bag that I've got. I've had it for like five, maybe six years now. But it's always kind of state, you know, it doesn't look tatty or anything. So it's it's just nice, okay, and it's still quite pretty. So I still use it. I put this in the big bag because I didn't want all makeup going everywhere, if that makes sense. So all my main makeups I put in here and anything that I think is breakable I put in here as well. So, you know, when I'm travelling, makeup's not breaking or anything. So in here, first I've got this. It's um, just like lip seal, so if I've got chapped lips, you know, can use that highlighter. It's very good. It's like in a little pen form, like that. So I really like that. It's like the first ever highlighter I've had, and I'm still using it. Probably because I haven't been using highlighter for very long. Um, I got this like a couple of months ago. Absolutely love it use it almost every day. I've got my foundation. It's um, number seven Stay Perfect. Um, it's in shame war shade Warm Ivory. Um, I do have another one somewhere that's in a shade darker for when for like after I've been on holiday I'll put that on but this, is, this tends to be what I use mainly. It's very very good. Dem foundation I highly recommend it and I also put it on with that with that brush I have my yum I forgot my name mascara this is really good mascara Looks like that. it's really nice and dark you know when sometimes you have like mascara and it says it's black but it's more of like a grey colour and it's just not nice and you eyeliner ends up darker than your um, mascara. I hate it when it's like that. So this is really dark. This is actually black, not grey. I absolutely love it. It's just my lifeline. I've got my, yeah, um, I've got the name again. I've got my eyeliner. Once again, it's a nice black colour. It's like that. It's kind of a bit green like running out of it but oh well it's really good really love this this eyeliner it's quite small as well I've got um, palm minimizing primer here so you know I look like I have smaller pores <laughs> and of course this is brilliant because it keeps my makeup on longer and I've not really had any um, primer that's as good as this one so I highly recommend number seven 
can't minimise in primer. By the way, this video is not sponsored in any way. Some lip gloss. This is a nice little pink colour. It goes with that lipstick. I tend to put them that lip that lipstick and that lip gloss together because they just look lovely and it gives it like a bit of a you know a glossy shine. I've got this lipstick which is really good, you know, this little lip crayon and it's really really good. It's looking a bit awful, worse for wear at the moment because I keep using it, it's what I'm wearing now. Um, and this was only cheap because it was from um, Primark so it was really cheap, I can't remember how much but it was quite cheap um, and it's really 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 good it's, it's called Velvet Matte Lip Crayon lovely, it's really good highly recommend it and it looks perfect on lips more lipstick and this um, lip gloss I tend to, um, these tend to be quite dark so I dark or bright or whatever so I tend to use these more at night if I'm off out for a meal or off out drinking or something I tend to wear these because it's more vibrant whereas during the day I like to wear something a bit more natural looking I've got my concealer here it's under eye concealer and it's really good because it's got like a little button there to kind of squirt it out and it's just lovely See, it's very nice, very natural. Absolutely love this because I hardly sleep. I'm a bit of a vampire. I don't go to bed until about 3 or 4 a.m. at the earliest. So, this is like a lifesaver for me when I've got to get up for uni. <laughs> I've also got this um, mascara. So, I've got another mascara here in case the other one runs out. <laughs> quite nice this one it's a um, I think it's one by Rimmel London in it yep Rimmel London it's really nice once again I highly recommend this it's the volume colorist makeup with lash tint complex mascara and then some word some language I don't know <laughs> I've also got this concealer which is just for like spots and things. Bit of a mess. It's a bit it's a bit of a mess because I use it so often. But oh well. Still really good. Highly recommend it. Number seven concealer. I've also got this which is I think it's night cream. Someone gave me this, I just threw it in the bag and it's just kind of staying on her. I don't really use it because <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what it is. It just it has some sort of strange foreign language. How am I supposed to understand it? From the words do understand it, it's night cream. Once again, someone bought me this. Don't quite know what it is. I think it's face wash. So I thought I'd keep it in the bag anyway. So if I ever need to wash my face with normal water, not with face wipes, I can use this. And yeah. But I, I think that's what it's for anyway. <laughs> Once again, someone else gave me this. Not quite sure what it's for. So yeah. But it's quite pretty. And that's it and that's everything in that little bag. It's quite a mess inside because of how long I've had it. And all the different things I've had used for it. <laughs> I've used it for everything. So that's everything in the bag. Slash box. There's nothing left. So yeah. And now I have to um, put it all back in it. Fun. So anyway, thank you very much for watching guys. Please like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. Comment below to let me know what you thought of this video. If you want to follow me on social media, all my links are down below in the description. There will be some sort of um, videos, recommended videos somewhere on the screen currently that you can check out that I highly recommend you watch if you have any video suggestions let me know in the comments and I'll almost definitely do them um, thank you very much for watching guys bye